Hello everyone, welcome to episode 16 of TopEdingSites.com. Joined today with me is my left hand man Antonio Banderas. How are you going my man? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I'm alright. I heard uh, you're getting deported. What were you doing? You're selling kidneys yeah. again? No, no, man. No. Okay. Well, maybe you have to check your, your side eh? I'll check uh, after this. Because my, my comrades are extremely professional. Very professional, yes. Very professional. Give me some contact details after this, alright? Yeah, well, can make business, man. Apparently, kidneys are. You have to invest, eh? Yeah, I have to invest, but apparently, it's a big boom in business in town. You guys also handing out flyers for kidneys? I go one step ahead. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. So, you're not really getting the port, you're just going back? Nah, just going back for Christmas. What are you bringing back for me? What? If you are accurate in two out of your three, three predictions today, I will bring some Spanish delights. So you sounds can see what's good to me. And the level of excellence. Okay, alright. You're always bragging about Spain, so we'll see what happens but when you come Spanish back. But the Spanish food. Yeah, yeah no, you're, always compl- you're always complimenting the Spanish food, even though I don't think anything. But anyway, we'll move along. Yes, please. Are we going to the Premier League? Go. Alright, this week we're doing it a bit different. We're choosing two, week, two games from this weekend and then one from next week, seeing as we're not here next week. So, just to give you the biggest game for next week, so you can get those bets in there. Um, starting off with the Premier League, we've got Man City versus Tottenham. Big ass game this weekend happening, especially City that's been on a dominant fall since the start of the season. 15 consecutive uh, victories now. On yeah, the road, exactly. Uh, record of the Premier League, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Pep Guardiola doing his work again, spending that money as well, obviously. But anyway, William Hill is providing the odds for this one. We've got a 1 to 2 for City to take the victory, 17 to 5 for the draw, and then a 5 for Spurs to take the victory. <coughs> I would not put my money on Spurs for this one, um, purely because of City's team on paper, there's hardly any injuries, if any, um, they've been dominant throughout yeah. the entire season. So I would say, worst case scenario, there might be a draw, maybe a 1-1, 0-0, if Tottenham decides to just play a massive defensive game, but otherwise I see City possibly taking this one. So either City or draw is where I'll be putting my money, okay. definitely not on Tottenham, it's not worth the risk. How many that, goals do you think? Yeah. Well, if something is going, it could be a 5 0. You think so? 5 4 0, maybe. Okay. Could even be more, depending. They can each run away with that trick if they wanted to. That's the quality they've got there. But otherwise, yeah, I don't see much, not too many goals, hopefully, okay. for Tottenham's sake. After that, we're moving to Everton versus Swansea. Should be another good game. Swansea and Everton has always been a good matchup. Um, Betway is providing the odds for this one. We've got an 8 to 11 for Everton to take the victory, 13 to 5 for the draw, and 17 to 4 for Swansea to take the victory. Clearly, the one is getting favoured here, yeah? but I don't know. I would say this one is leaning towards a draw. Otherwise, I would say Everton might clinch this one. I mean, okay. they've got Rooney. Rooney can pull a massive goal from nowhere. You yeah, saw that one he scored from halfway line already. And after obtaining uh, one point uh, of their. Uh, Latest game against Liverpool exactly. when they didn't deserve it at all. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. They can, boost of they, confidence. Definitely, they didn't play at all in that game, and they managed to get the get the draw at the end. Jurgen Klopp wasn't very happy, obviously. I know. He was furious in his interview. But anyway, him and Wenger will be battling it out next week when we move to Arsenal versus Liverpool. Should be a big game. Should be a crack of one as well. Triple H Sports providing the odds for this one. 13 to 10 for the victory of Arsenal, then a 5 to 2 for the draw, and 37 to 19 for Liverpool. I don't know what's going to happen in this game. Anything could happen, honestly. Me neither. <coughs> Me neither. Two there can be a lot are, of goals. Yeah, two teams that are willing to attack. So. Yeah, and it can be back and forth the entire game. So, I mean, it can be four or five goals easily between the two teams. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. I would probably say safe on a draw, just for Is playing it neutral. Yeah. Okay. Draw would be your safest bet. Otherwise, I would probably say, from judging the games that they were played, Liverpool might have the edge. Hmm. Arsenal plays very attacking, leaving a lot of gaps at the back. So, if counter attacks on point, then they'll be able to clean. Liverpool will be able to score a goal or two on the counter attacks, like they did, like United did against Arsenal over the weekend. So, yeah, that will be my bet. Draw okay. or Liverpool, definitely. Fantastic, man. Thank you. Now you go over to the La Liga. Well. Uh... We didn't come in, man. Are you already scared? And last 16. Well, I see you've got your boss well, and kids everywhere, so we don't need to go over the Champions League draw yeah. just yet. Then. Are you scared already? No, I'm scared yeah, of getting robbed again. Going to cry Probably. Especially yeah. if it's a repeat of 2005 and the ref Rob tells you of the Champions League title. <laughs> so you can carry on with La Liga now. 
La Liga, I'm going to start with uh, Basque Derby, Athletic uh, against Real Sociedad. Uh, both teams had several injuries, uh, Athletic Club de Bilbao has uh, collected only one victory in six last games. Uh, Real, no, that, was Real, that is Real Sociedad, they are not in a very good strike, they are doing very bad lately, so they need to recover, but uh, Samames is not staying where they are in the last uh, seasons. Um, developing uh, or obtaining a good uh, good scores and uh, let's see what happens but uh, Athletic Club de Bilbao has collected a, a victory in the last game and uh, they are recovering them um, the hopes and the momentum Real Sociedad they are doing pretty bad they have uh, important names like Zulutuza or Aguirreche uh, injured that are not going to play so well I think it's going to be a tough game, but I would lean for a victory or a draw for Athletic Club de Bilbao. Uh, they are playing at San Mames where they are stronger. William Hill are providing us the odds 23 to 20 for Athletic to win, uh, 23 to 10 for a draw, and for a Real Sociedad, uh, the team of Eusebio Sacristan 12 to 5 for a victory. I'm moving uh, to another game, Eibar versus Valencia. Eibar, uh, they are recovering the sensations of last uh, season. Uh, they have collected uh, three victories, two draws and one defeat on the last six games. Valencia, they are doing very well this season. Uh, four victories, one draw and one defeat and one loss on the last six games. Um, Eibar has uh, up to eight players injured. Valencia, Jeez. important names like Guedes or Garay. Um, let's see uh, how does it go. But uh, uh, I will lean to, uh, towards a draw and the stadium of Eibar is not, a, is not an easy one, it's yeah. small uh, and tough and they are strong there, so I will lean towards a, a draw, I see it's a, it's a stadium where Valencia can draw points, uh, despite their nice moment, and uh, I'm moving towards the 20, 23rd of December, previous day to Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, mm. and we are having a Clásico, Real Madrid versus Barcelona, they are playing at Santiago Bernabéu Stadium, uh, 1 p.m. Spanish time. I will be there. So we can get that festive season started. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's already planned. What is it? Uh, let's see. Uh, there is still a lot of time. Uh, I see. I will lean towards a, a draw or a victory of Barcelona yeah. because they are. Um, They've been more dominant this season. Yeah, they are. They, they, are they are doing better this season. Real Madrid, for example, yesterday they struggled to win on the on the yeah, World Cup of the clubs. Uh, against Al Jazeera. Yeah, they are not doing well this season. Cristiano Ronaldo is not scoring in, uh, in La Liga. Um, Bale has recovered recently. Benzema is a. Ronaldo did win the Ballon d'Or. No, no, we can discuss uh, about it all day. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of things can happen. It's a classical. You know, they are always stealing. I don't see this, this game a lot of goals. I will go to. Um, I will lean towards um, no more than three goals mm. in the whole game. But let's see, Paddy Power is providing us the odds. 11 to 10 for Real Madrid to win, 11 to 4 for a draw, and 21 to 10 for Barcelona to win. Let's see, we still have a, a, a week and a half to warm up for this massive game worldwide. So, yeah. One of the biggest, eh? Yeah. Right. Definitely. And that's all for La Liga. Nice. We are skipping over the WTF moment of the week, which I, we didn't discuss, uh, we didn't have to discuss too much, no, it was easy. It was easy. Once we heard that, saw that lead line, milk and water was <laughs> over. We had it already. Milk and water. Mourinho. Mourinho gets the WTF for this week, definitely. Again? Again. He has been getting it twice this year already, eh? Yeah, I don't know, but uh, yes, he...